What's going on guys, it's Ami Yark and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the video that I made over three years ago uh, that's gotten me more hate than I ever could have imagined. So if you guys are new to this channel and you've never seen my most popular upload, you can go to my channel and sort it by most viewed and you'll notice a video titled Slenderman in Advanced Warfare brackets Easter Egg. Uh, and this was a video that I uploaded on June 26th, 2015. And essentially uh, in the video, I give some fake steps or, or some real steps on how to find a Easter egg that isn't actually real. It's not a real Easter egg in the game. Uh, and the, the, when I uploaded this three years ago, uh, nobody batted an eye. The video didn't get any views. Nobody really cared. It just went, life went on. It wasn't anything. Nothing, my subscribers weren't like, oh, that's cool. Like nothing happened, right? So I posted this video and, you know, I got the idea because at the time I was into the Slenderman myth, uh, you know, and, you know, I had been for years prior to that, but, you know, I was revisiting the Slenderman myth and I noticed a lot of similarities between the tropes involved with Slenderman and one of the maps in Advanced Warfare, which was at the time the Call of Duty game out, right? So... You know, and at that time in June, right, nobody's nobody even really cares about Call of Duty around June. So, you know, it was just a random video that I thought, oh, you know, it would be funny. There's a lot of parallels between Slenderman and this map in Call of Duty. And even though the myth, or even though the map has nothing to do with Slenderman, I wonder how many people I could convince that it does. So what I did is I decided to make a bunch of fake steps on how to get Slenderman to appear. Uh, and I'd use a little bit of editing, a little simple editing tricks here and there. And then at the very end, I, you know, show Slenderman in a couple of frames that I just made using Photoshop. And if you made it all the way to the end, to the very end of the video, uh, there is a picture of a troll face to let you guys know, anybody who watches, that you got trolled because it's not a real video, right? And again, I, I made it, I had like no subscribers back then. It was just a random funny video that I thought, you know, I'm going to see how many people I can convince that this is real. So fast forward like a year after I make the video and it starts to get views. It starts to get a lot of views. I started getting thousands of views every single month on this video and there were months where I would get 10, 20,000 views on this video and I didn't know why. Um, and to this day, I still have no idea why this video blew up. Um, I think, you know, to my credit, maybe it's because it's kind of a little bit of a longer video. It's over eight minutes. Um, it doesn't quite hit that 10 minute mark, but you know, for some reason in like some sometime in 2016, this video started to, you know, get a way more views than anything else on my channel has gotten. And I just, I don't know if it's because of the clickbait uh, title and thumbnail and, and the fact that you have to get pretty far in to realize that it's fake. I don't know. I'm really not sure, but whatever it was, uh, something triggered the YouTube algorithm to start promoting this video all over the place. And I, I think it had something to do with South America. I, I don't know, but when I check the analytics for the video, I see a ton of views uh, around that time were coming from places in South America. So I don't know like what what's going on there. I think, you know, maybe somebody, some, some people in South America saw it, watched it a bunch. And then because of that, it pushed it into the algorithm and that kind of carried it to over 450,000 views is what it's sitting at now. It has 4.5 thousand likes on the video, which is good, uh, but it also has 3.6 thousand dislikes. Uh, and if you go through a majority of the comments are people saying, oh, this is BS, this is clickbait, um, you know, this guy's, you know, this guy's a douchebag, um, you know, I can't believe like you're such a low life loser that you would make a video like this. Um, this is fake. Like, oh my God, this is so fake. You're a clickbaiter. I'm going through it right now. Yeah, the, everything on here is is just people basically just hating on me for making this video. And you know, as these comments were pouring in, you know, around the time that the video blew up, they were there were so many comments every day that I literally could not respond to them. Like, I couldn't even keep keep up with all the comments. That were coming in basically saying how much of a douche i am how much of a loser i am for making this video how pissed people were for it being clickbait 
uh, and I don't think anybody you know a majority of these people never made it to the very end where they would see the troll face picture and know oh they got trolled they just got to a point where they're like oh this has got to be fake and they like dropped a comment and left um, and I don't blame them at all but some people you know a couple people did get to the end and say oh it's a troll face some people got to the end and said oh even though you put a troll face Fuck you anyway the point is that this video blew up randomly it was just a joke I had no subscribers when this video first came out and I got all sorts of hate for it even though it, you know if it's pretty obvious that it's a joke when you get to the end and you see the troll face and everything like you get the idea oh he trolled me like oh it was a joke right and uh, you know it, it wasn't a good joke like my editing wasn't that good um, the video quality wasn't great you know I was a tiny youtuber back then there was terrible quality so you know you kind of you kind of have to cut me some slack for that but you know it wasn't a great joke it wasn't a good video but at least you could tell that you know if you watched it to the very end you could say oh okay he was just trolling he was trying to you know see if he could get people to believe it or whatever the case is right and the reason that I'm talking about this is because of Fortnite and the amount of people that are posting Fortnite videos and the sheer audacity that these people have to put the the most clickbait garbage in their titles and thumbnails it, it's actually taken it to a whole new level like like the videos that people are posting on YouTube about Fortnite have the most ridiculous ridiculous shit in there like they will photoshop superheroes into the thumbnails photoshop fake you know equipment fake guns fake you know monsters they'll put fake meteors and fake grenades and rockets and all this other shit and people click it and these videos get millions of views they get over a million views every single video and it's all clickbait every single thing on their channel is clickbait and you know I'm not gonna name any names in this video but there are at least half a dozen to a dozen channels that get millions of views and only clickbait and then there's an infinite number of channels that get tens or hundreds of thousands of views every video that are all clickbait and it led me to believe like what what is the difference between what I posted in 2015 and the Fortnite community and the Fortnite you know genre on YouTube right now because you know all these people watching these Fortnite videos they have to know that they are being clickbaited because as soon as you click on the video there's nothing relating to the title or thumbnail in the video it's just people you know either it's a live commentary or a, like a stream clip or half the time these channels are just ripping fortnite content from other fortnite players and uploading it to their own channel or somebody just sees a post on reddit that's like some fan art and is like oh wouldn't it be cool if the machine gun was golden and then you know these channels post the thing golden machine gun in fortnite question mark exclamation point question mark exclamation point and then they photoshop a picture of a golden machine gun and plaster it all over the thumbnail with all sorts of red arrows and circles and like oh my god look it's a golden machine gun and then all the five-year-olds are like oh my god it's a gold machine gun and they click on it and then there's nothing about a gold machine gun in the entire video and yet somehow all these people are totally okay with these content creators lying to them deceiving them and basically you know tricking them into watching their shitty fortnite videos and the worst part is you know you know there's the fact that you know i got all this hate for this video that was supposed to be a joke and like fair is fair i don't you know you can hate the video if you want like i said it wasn't a very good video but i got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of comments telling me to kill myself to tell me you know telling me that it's fake and that I'm gay and that this the, the video is bullshit and that I wasted their time and you know some of the angriest shit that I've ever seen on YouTube was were in the comments of this Slenderman video that I made a couple years ago and then when you know all these Fortnite youtubers are posting these pictures of dinosaurs and shit in their thumbnails and all this random garbage that is so clearly fake that you literally have to be on the spectrum people are clicking on it and then totally okay with them just being lied to and being deceived and they just seem to not give a shit 
and I, I just it makes no sense to me like what why is is there a different am I missing something like like in in both instances you could argue that the intent of the thumbnail and title is meant to deceive but i feel like in my video at least at the end i acknowledge that it's fake uh and that you know it's an attempt at trolling people these fortnite youtubers are literally just using the thumbnail and title to get you to click their video and just pray that you watch for the 10 plus minutes uh, filled with ad revenue like there's they they don't feel bad they're doing it strictly for the money and clicks and that's it uh, and half the time like I said it's copyrighted content or not copyrighted but it's stolen from another content creator and just re-uploaded and monetized and that's completely against YouTube's uh, policy so I'm really just trying to figure out what the hell is going on here and it might sound like I'm butthurt right but it's not even that because I don't care that I got all the hate for the video you know I haven't acknowledged it on the channel um, and it really doesn't bother me like I said there were so many comments that I couldn't keep up and I know that you know I kind of knew that you know if the video ever got views that that would happen because it's a troll video of course people are gonna hate it um and so that's whatever but just the fact that there was a huge community on youtube of millions of people who watch fortnite content daily and they're totally okay with being lied to every single time and it makes me wonder like is it you know in majority of it must be children right it has to be kids so then you think okay so these content creators are literally making content strictly to deceive children so in a way like it's okay because you know oh it's just kids and they don't know what they're doing or whatever but really you're just lying to kids like if you really boiled it down your channel that's based on clickbait videos you lie to kids for a living like that's that's what you do you do that for millions of views and it's just it's very weird and i don't understand it and i'm honestly sick of it like i'm i'm just sick of seeing all the clickbait garbage because there's just there's just so much of it and this the fortnite has taken it to a whole new level where it's unstoppable like there's there's so much uh that youtube youtube doesn't even do anything about it because it's making them so much money and they're totally fine with misleading thumbnails misleading titles misleading descriptions misleading tags and it's all against youtube's community guidelines um and yet they're not doing anything about it because they're making so much money on it because it's technically family friendly advertiser friendly content where they're not technically cursing or showing any blood or gore or anything like that so you know advertisers aren't complaining about the content because it's not gruesome and it's not affecting them negatively and therefore they're willing to pay to put their ads on fortnite content and because youtube's making all this money off of it they're just like well um it's um you know and there's no response youtube's not doing anything about all this clickbait so I just thought it was really weird and I wanted to open up the conversation to you guys I wanted to ask you what do you think about this um, it, what's what's it gonna take for the the very obvious deception of the youth on YouTube to stop and you know I, I think nothing right unless YouTube decides to crack down on it I don't think it's ever gonna stop until Fortnite dies which you know let's be honest a free-to-play game like Fortnite that's making as much money as it is and pumping as much money as it is into esports and advertising and all this other shit it's probably not gonna stop so I don't know it's really concerning to me because it's it makes YouTube look really bad it is really what it is it it YouTube loses a lot of credibility because it's not upholding its own standards right it, it claims to have these high standards of its of its creators and yet it lets this part of the community run rampant with deceit and lies and BS and it's really let, like letting people make money off of it uh, and that's it's really it's unfortunate so it makes YouTube just look really unprofessional and like they really don't care about anything but money um, but I wanted to get your thoughts on it so let me know if you guys have you have you seen this like you had to have seen these videos right the all these you, you know what I'm talking about with the hypey flashy thumbnails and everything let me know what you think in the comments section below uh, and if you know any youtubers in particular that do this really bad comment their names and I want to check out their channels because you know maybe I will make another video kind of calling all these people out just because it would be really funny to kind of make fun of a bunch of you know losers who are deceiving children um, because that's what they deserve anyway thank you guys so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will really appreciate a thumbs up 
um, and a subscription. Click that bell so you know the next time I upload, and that's about it, guys. So thank you so much. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.